A Colorado man blames a thief for taking his car and the sheriff's department for wasting his time. He spoke today with Contact Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen. This is the invoice. No one likes paying for a tow. 15 days of storage. Add insult to injury. Quadrupled the cost of this bill. If you're picking up your stolen car. We were let down. From the beginning. I've parked here a lot. June 27th, Charles Webb reported his stolen car to Arapahoe County. Honestly, the officer was respectful. Two days later, call records show he had a 3 a.m. missed call from a restricted number. He called the sheriff's non-emergency number the next day and was told his car had not been recovered. If your car is found, we will contact you. So I left a message with the investigator and, you know, went about my business. He left another message after the July 4th holiday. Certified notification. But the first clue his car had been found, a tow company notification with good news and bad. So 14 days after it's been recovered, 14 days that they didn't call us, didn't leave me a message, didn't send me an email. So we reached out to the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office, which would not speak on camera, but defended the actions, releasing an incident report that says when the car was found, the deputy left a message at 3 a.m. A spokeswoman also says a deputy knocked on the victim's door. Sheriff, if you come to a door at four in the morning, leave a note. And the question remains why the investigator never called Charles back. The sheriff's office tells Contact Denver 7 he was on vacation and had a backlog of calls, stating crime victims can always try other numbers if they don't get a response. Why didn't you try to reach out to other people? Well, because initially I was told to call only the investigator. Who covers people on vacation? I, at my work, somebody's covering me and I am not investigating crimes. My wife and I have been victim shamed in a sense because it was our fault that our old car got stolen. It was our fault that I didn't answer my phone at three in the morning or answer the door. It's my fault that I'm not calling every single day and it's my fault that I didn't assume somebody was on vacation because he didn't call me back. Charles says he filed an internal affairs complaint that went nowhere, and he's worried the communication breakdown is a threat to public safety. These individuals are here to serve and protect us. For Contact Denver 7, we're far from that. I'm Jacqueline Allen.